Hi, it's Tom again, and today we're doing more pest control. It's like, because this guy is not doing his job. So, if you look here, that is from a vole. And they tunnel here every year. They suck ass. It's the first day of spring, and I've already got vole hills popping up in my yard. So what I did was, I started poking the ground around it in an ever-expanding circle until I found a tunnel nearby close to the surface. And that's where I set up this plunger trap. These are kind of hit or miss though. Um, never had really great luck with them, though I do occasionally catch something. But I, like I said, they kind of suck. I don't really care for them. But they are safe. It's not going to hurt this guy. Uh, it might startle him, but it won't hurt him. But looking around even further, I found the entrance. The thing about voles is sometimes they're too big for a mouse trap, but sometimes they're too small for a rat trap. So we're setting up all of the above near the entrance. Now it'll run out and um, go where it pleases. It might not even look at the traps. So to entice it, I set peanut butter in the bait cup and there's a sunflower seed stuck in the peanut butter in each so that they will try to force their, to try to convince them to, you know, jostle or use some force while messing around near that trigger. But also to make sure these guys um, don't just run off somewhere else, we're going to put a bucket over these traps ever so carefully. Okay, I managed to do it without setting any of the traps off. And now, to make sure the cats don't get their paw stuck in a mouse trap or a rat trap, because that would seriously hurt them, we'll just set a cinder block on top of it. And we'll just check back every day in the mornings um, to see if any of the traps have been set off. Now you might have noticed I put two mouse traps in there. Chances are, at this point of the year, this early, they're definitely small enough for a mouse uh, trap to kill them. There's probably more than one. So I spaced them out as far as I could while still being able to get the bucket under it. So hopefully, we'll catch more than one in a single go around uh, tonight when they come out to feed. And there you have it.